guys like my fake bros. <laughs> I was going to go to the store and get some real ones, but we're having like the snowstorm of the century right now. So I am not leaving. But what I am gonna do is film a little Valentine's Day makeup look for you guys. Spoiler alert, it's not gonna be bright pink or red or anything like that because who really wears that? If you do, that's cool, but I feel like if you're that person, you probably aren't watching my videos. You know what I mean? So I am going to just clip hair back with these fun little clips that everybody uses. For primers today, I'm going to be trying out the Pure Canvas one from Laura Mercier. I've been trying a bunch of the new ones out and I haven't tried this one yet, so I do want to try it out. And it's supposed to be silicone free. No, it's not supposed to be. It is. So we're going to try this one out today. My skin's been a little bit drier, so hopefully this will be good. And then for my foundation today, I'm going to be going in with the YSL Touche Claw All-in-One Glow. This is fresh, dewy makeup, medium coverage, long-lasting, all of that. And I'm just going to go in and apply this with my hands because it's the easiest way to do it. And this color will probably be a little bit on the dark side, but we will make it work with concealer. So if you were thinking of saying... Oh my god, that shade is way too dark for you. Save it. Save it. Just save it for later. And just delete that. Because I don't want to hear it ever. So there's that. Very quick and easy. I'm just going to take a little bit of that on a brush and use it as like an eye primer. I don't really like to use eye primers, so I'm just doing that. And then I'll grab a powder brush with nothing on it, just like excess, and just set it with that. So for my eyes, I think I'm going to do like an all matte type of vibe just to make it nice and dark and smoky. And for what I'm doing, like an all matte look, I really love the colors in the Tartlet and Bloom palette. They also have like an all matte palette, but I like this one because it just has you know, whatever colors I need. So this is a really good one. And uh, Natasha Denona Biba has really similar colors. So first things first, I'm gonna go in with the shade Flower Child. And I'm gonna start by putting that right underneath my brow bone and drag it all the way down. And this is just a nice base. And I'm pretty sure I've used this palette recently, I wanna say. I can't remember which video, but I know I used it recently. So next I'm going to go in with the shade Jet Setter. Um, I'm going to start by packing that on the outer portion of my eye. This is just kind of like a taupey brownish gray. And this is going to be the base. We're going to be layering a lot of colors. I think... <laughs> I always sound like I know what I'm doing, but like I never have a game plan. I just kind of sit down and let it flow. I'm also going to kind of drag that in just a little bit. Next, I'm going to go in with the shade Activist, which is a deep, dark espresso type brown. It almost looks black as I'm applying it. And we're going to use that to start smoking out the lash line. And I'm also going to bring it into the socket. Then I'm just grabbing a little bit of the shade Smarty Pants to help the blending process. Then I'm just taking a little bit of that black and pressing it into the lash line just to really deepen it up. Then I'm taking just a little bit of that flower child and just kind of blending it up into the inner crease. 
then I'm gonna take a little bit of a pencil liner. This is just a black. This is from Neutrogena. Again, I'm gonna go right at the base of the lash to really deepen it up. And I'm also going to put it on my upper waterline. And I definitely meant to do that before I added the black shadow, but I was not thinking, so I would do it before. So then I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara before I do lashes. And this is the NYX on the rise. So then I'm just going to take a makeup wipe and clean up underneath, which is not a big deal because I haven't really been putting too much foundation under my eyes lately, just because like, what is the point of even putting it under there when you're gonna layer concealer? I feel like sometimes it just makes it look heavier, so. I'm not done with the eyes yet, but I'm just gonna move on to the face for right now while my mascara is drying. So for concealer, I'm gonna be taking this new e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Light Sand. So this is the hydrating version of their Camo Concealer, which I tried that and it had good coverage, but it was so drying and cakey on me, on my under eyes, so I was happy to see that they were coming out with a hydrating version. So I'm gonna put this under my eyes and hope for the best because I have not tried this out yet. And I just got my eyebrows waxed, so my forehead is always so bumpy after that. Like when I do it at home, I don't really get it, but when they use the hot wax, I always get bumps. So, whatever. This is looking crazy. This looks a lot lighter than what I typically use, but I have to stay positive. Oh boy, this is gonna be way too light for mama. No! The other one looked too dark. Jeez Louise. This is gonna be way too light, oh my god. Oh my god, Becky. Look at her freaking bright ass under eyes. Oh my gosh. Well, can't say she isn't brightening because <laughs> I literally look like I'm wearing a mask. Holy shit. This looks, oh my gosh. What? I mean, it covered really well, but it maybe it's because it's pure white. So I'm not really sure what is happening. I look like I'm a mime. I'm gonna take a little bit of my foundation on the back of my hands and try to kind of like go over that because it is so freaking bright. I've never had such a bright under eye experience in my life. I'm gonna go in with my Ilia Soft Focus Powder and just try to set that a little bit. And then we will try to see. This is a new sponge for me from Sonia Kashuk, by the way. And oh my God, it is like the most perfect shape of life. You guys need to try it. All right, and then as usual, I'm just gonna set the rest of my face with this big fluffy brush. So I'm gonna go in with my Cover Effects Bronzer Duo. And this is in the shade Sunkissed Bronze, which seems very necessary at this point. <laughs> All right, so then I'm taking a little bit of Activist and putting it on my lower lash, just kind of pressing it in. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of Smoke Show and kind of like connect it to the upper lash line. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of Smarty Pants and just lightly blend that so that it blends with my under eye a little bit better. I'm gonna take this blush trio from Bare Minerals and I'm just kinda kinda like mix these two shades and pop them on 
my cheek. So again, this is like a matte blush. And I know it looks a little bit much, but I feel like blush fades so fast. And we're gonna blend it in a minute anyway. For my highlight, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Gilded Gold from Lancome. This is a like limited edition little holiday palette, but they do sell these colors separately. So I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger and do it on my nose, just the tip, <laughs> and then in between my brows. A teeny tiny bit on my cheeks because I don't really want it too extreme. Now I'm gonna add some black liner to my waterline. I wasn't going to, but it transferred down anyway, so I'm just going to add that now i'm gonna move on and do my lashes so i'm gonna use these from kiss they are the naked drama veil lash and these are so pretty i haven't used them yet but they look like they're gonna be my favorite lashes ever so um, i'm gonna pop these on really quick and i will be right back we're gonna finish off with the lips i'm gonna be going in with this lip liner from ColourPop in the shade oh snap Oh snap, my lips are chapped, but you know, it happens. And then to fill in, I think I'm gonna use this Maybelline crayon in the shade Lead the Way. I'm not sure, let's try it out. This is basically like the exact same color as that liner, but that's okay. These last really nicely on the lips. And they are like matte, but they add a little bit of like moisture. I'm going to spray my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter. Cause we're gonna be going all night long. No, we're not. We're gonna be in bed by about 9.30 tops. All right, so I am back. I obviously changed my outfit, put some earrings on, and tried to do something to this hair, which I'm not good at hair. That's why I only wear it down. I don't even know. Just threw like a little clip in the back. So yeah, this is the finished look. I also tried to get rid of the black waterline liner. I felt like it was just so dark, but when I tried to remove it and then add a nude liner, it kind of became like this grayish color because I don't know, once you go black, you can never go back to not having a black waterline. Am I right? And this sleeve won't stay up, so that is gonna have to wrap up this video, but I do really like how it turned out. I wish I never put black on my waterline, but you know, that is a different story. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Oh wait, I forgot my flower. I hope you guys enjoy this look. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Valentine's Day, and I'll see you guys next time. You ever just want to cut off your sideburns even though you know it'll be a terrible, terrible idea? Do you accept this rose? There's literally dust in here. <laughs> Nobody look too close at the rose, okay?